Welcome to the first episode ever of Campaign Connections. This is your new go-to destination for all things hot this campaign. Now, we're talking the latest and the greatest in beauty from skincare to everything that's trending tomorrow with makeup. I'm your host, Jonathan Flores de Leon, and with me, I have Tyra Harless, and we are from the sales enablement and learning team, and we have some hot tea for you, which we are about to spill. This is a huge makeup sale that starts today. Yes, this is a must-have. If you are someone looking to save big on beauty, you can go big and save bigger. Right now, for a limited time, we have your fan favorites and your must-haves from everything lips, eyes, and in between on sale right now up to half off. Now, are you eyeing a makeup trend or a hack that you've been wanting to try or maybe stock up on your essentials? It's time to get glam without breaking the bank. This won't last for long, so let's talk makeup. Yes, and speaking of makeup, let's talk about how you can maximize your makeup haul with what we're going to call a hot or not, but trend edition. Now we've asked around the office. Yes, we've asked around the office. We've asked our friends and our colleagues on teams and we asked them, Hey, can you send us what you're hearing uh, about trends? What are coming up on your, what's coming up on your feed, whether it's for better or for worse. And the first one that we have on our list, we're going to get right into it is precision looks. Now this look is all about bold lines, sharp angles. This is clearly to catch and draw attention. Uh, I like this. I really like the look. It's almost like runway, but every day. So I like this. I think I'm going to vote definitely hot for this trend. Tyra, what do you think? Oh, I think this trend is definitely hot. And just like you said, these glimmer liners really allow you for that precision look that you're going after um, to really enhance your eyes. I absolutely love it. And Jonathan, I love how you're showing it there on screen. The one feature that I really love is it's retractable. So you don't have to worry about putting it down and it breaking off. You can simply retract it back into um, the little cylinder. And there you go. It's easy and it's on the go. Yeah, I, I love it. Talc free. Um, they're all different formulations. Um, it just gives you really good precision. So if you want to try to check out this trend and try it for you, I say go for it. Um, it's really fun. Now, Tyra, what's another trend that we're seeing? Well, the white eyeliner. And for me, this is a not. This is one that must go. Um, when I think about white eyeliner, really, honestly, Jonathan, I think that the early 2000s are calling this trend back <laughs> because they absolutely cannot live without it. I'm telling you, go go back. It's fine. I, I agree with you. I'm not for this. Um, was I ever, even when it was trendy before? No, it's trying to make a comeback. I've seen this on TikTok. Um, and I'm not for it. If you do want to have like your eyes a bit more bright, instead of going for that nice, like crisp white, that clear, like crisp white, maybe recommend something like, uh, closer to your skin tone that will still pop the eyes out without having that really white defined, uh, waterline. So yeah, it's a no for me. Sorry. Um, yeah, not for me. But speaking of 2000s, uh, there's another thing that I've, I've been seeing and it popped up on that list too. It's that nude lip. Now, it's not just like a, any nude lip. It's like a concealer on the lip. But before you you vote for this, like I'm telling you already, you guys know where I, what I feel about this. It's a no for me, but maybe this might change your mind, Tara. Let's try it. No, Jonathan. Oh, no. Uh, Oh, no, no. <laughs> you trying it on even definitely tells me even more. It does absolutely nothing for you. So this is definitely a not. Not, do you guys, okay, let me know in the comments, like, if this is something that you've seen and if you're on trend with this or not. It's a not for me. Not hot. Sorry. Uh, Tyra, while, <laughs> I'm looking at my <laughs> the camera. While I take this off, can you tell everyone the next trend? Oh, yes, Jonathan. Mm -hmm. So the other trend that we're seeing is the Techno Color Mascara. Now, I'll have to be honest. I am all about the eyes, and we're going to talk a little bit more about it later. And maybe at one time I like this trend, but right now it is a not for me. What do you think, Jonathan, about this Techno Color Mascara? Uh, I'm still stuck <laughs> with this, this concealer look. I'm telling you, that's a no for me. This one, I will say right now, 
it is a no, but I will have to say when it was trendy, I was all about it. I was about the red mascara or the blue, the electric blue mascara. Uh, does it last long now? I don't, I don't, I don't think it's, it lasts for me. No, uh, but you know, Jonathan, let me tell you what I would suggest. That's kind of like that staple that everyone's going to want in their makeup bag. It's the Love at First Lash Mascara. It's going to really give the lashes that length and that volume for whatever look that you're trying to achieve. And I can promise you, this is one of my favorite favorite products. And I really like the waterproof version. So let me just show you here. I just want to show you, um, take a look at this. Johnny, can you see that? Those bristles? In Tyra, we can all see that. <laughs> <laughs> I will say one thing. If, if this is not proof in the pudding, that, that brush is used. It is used. I'm telling okay. you. Jonathan just called me out, but you can tell, yes, this brush has gotten a lot of wear on it. I absolutely love this product. Love Trust me, if you all try this, get it in your makeup bag. It's going to be a staple. You are absolutely going to love it. <laughs> I'm going to send you the link right now to go start shopping and put that in your bag. I mean, if it goes to show, you know Tyra loves that mascara. So check out why she loves it. You probably love it too. Um he Absolutely just called that. me out, everyone, but that's okay, Jonathan. I'm going to take advantage, and trust me, I'm going to definitely get some of my fan favorites and, you know, be a little bit bold and purchase some other things during this makeup sale right now. Love it. Okay, so next trend that we got going on, it is called 90s nostalgia, but I might be a little bit biased to this because I was born and grew up in the 90s, uh, but this is all about bare is bold, um, neutral tones and maybe some nudes and, and latte makeup, but not the nude concealer. It's different. It's a little bit um, simple and timeless, but understated. So uh, I actually like this look. It's it's elegant and almost reminds me of like a beachy vibe, mm -hmm. but also cozy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Jonathan, I agree with this one. This is definitely, this trend for me is hot. You know, it's all, you know, like you talked about, it's bare, but it's being bold with those really neutral tones. And like you said, it's simple and understated, but what I like about it, it's refined and it's almost timeless. But, you know, the thing that I think when we think about bare, it is sometimes it will really surprise you as to what it takes to achieve this look. Trust me, I have tried and I'm just not very good at it, even though I absolutely love it. I agree. I think <laughs> the harder you work to achieve a no makeup kind of makeup flawless look, uh, the better the flawless makeup looks, but you got to work for it. So it's, it's, it's funny the the dichotomy of that but yeah love yeah, that absolutely well let me tell you another trend that we're seeing it is the all over highlighter so is this a hot or a not for you mm. Mm. okay i'm gonna say it's a little bit hot it's it's a hot for me um before i explain why is it a not for you well, for me, I think it all starts with a really great um, canvas, really great skincare. And let's be honest, natural glowy skin is in. And honestly, when is it ever out? So for me, this is a not hot. It needs to go. Okay. Okay. I see where you're going with that. And um, and I agree. I believe beautiful, gorgeous, like glowy skin is in and it always will be. But some of us can't achieve that all the time, Tyra, like you can. And I'm for I'm one for highlighter. Um, I love this. I know where this trend is going, though. It's almost like that extraterrestrial look. It ain't given chic. I'm telling you, I know. Uh, but I have to give a call out to, to highlighters. That's why I'm like kind of like iffy. Uh, I do love a highlighter look. Uh, if you can put it in the right places and it just looks like the sun is caressed on your face. So... I'm still going to say yes to the all over highlighter look because I think you can still achieve a good look for this. So Okay, well, we will leave it right there. But there's another really hot trend that's out there. You'll tell us a little bit more. Yes. Okay, so this next one is timeless. This is the red, glossy, juicy lip color. So absolutely love this one. Um, I kind of already gave it away. I like this. Um, some people, are you guys fans of is anyone here a fan? You're a fan. I know you're a fan of red lip. Yes, um, yes. Let us know in the comments section if you guys are a fan of red lips and if you yes. think it should stay for 2024. And Jonathan, I have to show everyone right now. 
I am definitely a fan of this. It is definitely hot. You're going to see it on trend with those short red nails and those glossy red lips. And I want to show you just one of the products that I have right now. And it is the Glimmer Satin Lipstick. So let me give you just a little sneak peek here. Can you see that on screen? Yeah. And then I want to show you, I'm going to get just a towel here for just a moment. Okay, so I want you to take a look. Look what that dark of a shade is, right? But we all talked about that we want this um, red, glossy type lip, okay? So I'm going to take off. You can see I have a little bit of color on my lips right now. So let me just do this and take off a little bit of color. Give me just a moment. Okay, hopefully I don't smear this anywhere. Hold on. I think you're good. I think it's going well. I think it's good? Okay, good, because I can barely see myself. So let me put this on. And Jonathan, tell me how I'm doing. Can you see this amazing, beautiful color? Wow. It looks great. Um, I love that. And bravo to you for putting that on via camera. Mm. It is not easy, my friends. <laughs> Uh, no, no. Is it on even straight, Jonathan? Please tell me it is. It's good. Okay, I, you know me. I already called you out for your mascara, so I will call you out for a little bit. You did. You did. I think it looks good. Okay. Uh, awesome. But you know, like you said, I tried this on, or I put this on without any other product, right? Just the lipstick. But I think there's another product, Jonathan, that out there that you're thinking that you would have used before putting this lipstick on. You already saw I was going to point out to it. If you I want, it, if you want like a nicer, crisper, like defined lip, then add that glimmer, the the FMG glimmer liner, um, to that, and it happens to be part of the sale. So really cool things, um, uh, and yeah. really nice defined look. Yeah, but you know, Jonathan, speaking of glossy lips, I'm just going to one up you right now because you've already called me out a couple of times, I think. So I'm going to add just a little bit of gloss so I really achieve that red glossy lip. So here goes. Ooh, definitely on trend. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Okay, so you if you thought that? you couldn't go any more like bold with a red, put that gloss on. Definitely hot. Love this one. Um, Definitely hot, right? So, okay. <laughs> okay, if this is you, I need you to stop everything that you're doing right now. And you are going to need to run to the sale. Do not walk. So if you're needing to maybe restock on your go-tos, Maybe you're new to makeup, a student or a working professional that is looking to experiment or explore with some easy to use makeup products and easy on your wallet as well, this sale is for you. Or maybe you're the makeup artist or that budding beauty influencer that is looking to really build their makeup bag to create amazing content. You absolutely cannot miss out on this sale. You know, I think you're almost a budding beauty influencer, Tara. Oh, uh, really? Huh. Yeah. And okay, you don't even have to be a budding beauty influencer. I mean, maybe you're just like Tyra and you just love makeup, love having fun with it like we are today. Um, take advantage of the sale. You'll thank me later. And remember, colors, products, these tend to go really quickly, especially during a really nice big sale. So take advantage of that. We're going to make it very easy for you. And we are going to drop the link to the makeup sale in the description below. So, um, yeah, well, making... there you have it, everyone up to half off. What a steal, you know, get your makeup now before this sale sails away. But right now, let us dish out what is sizzling with our incentives. I see what you did there, Tyra. So speaking I of, sat you up. I sat yep, you up yep. just a little bit. Um, so speaking of sailing away, did you know you can earn yourself an all expenses paid cruise? Uh, if I piqued your interest, click the link in the in the description for more details. Um, and for more details and other incentives as well, make sure to check out avon.com, uh, the incentives hub in that tab. So my friends, Tyra, that is all I got for everyone today. I hope you have some fun. Make sure to like, subscribe, and catch us on the next Campaign Connections. Well, thank you, everyone. Thanks, Tyra. Goodbye, everyone. See you later, Jonathan. Bye.